Today I will show you how to knit very easy bed socks like the ones I am wearing right now. Make sure the rocking handle is in its highest position. Now raise 50 needles on the front bed, 25 to the left and 25 to the right of the center. Place the edge springs on the last working needles. Now raise the opposite 50 needles on the back bed. Place the edge springs on the last working ones. Use the orange ruler to arrange the needles on both beds in one to one division and put the edge springs on the last working needles. It should look like this. Set both locks to N and the stitch size to 3. Insert the orange strippers. Take the main yarn and knit one row. Set both locks to CX and increase the stitch size to 4. Now knit 2 rows. Set both locks to N and increase the stitch size to 5. Knit 1 row to finish the cast on. Clear the row counter and knit 40 rows. Clear the row counter again, then set both locks to EX and increase the stitch size to 5.5. Now knit 150 rows. Clear the row counter, set both locks to N and the stitch size to 5. Now knit 6 rows. Can you imagine that the first sock is ready? Pull the yarn from the lock and cut it. Thread it in the double eye bodkin tool and sew off all stitches. When I saw this pattern I thought that the socks will look awful but now I like them very much. They are very stretchy, soft and take the shape of your foot so nobody won't be able to notice that they don't have a heel. When you take the last stitch the knitting will fall off the machine. This is what the knitting looks like right after you take it from the machine. You simply have to fold it and sew both sides together. It does not have a right and a wrong side. After you sew it, it will look like this. Now pull the cast off tail to gather the toe part. Finally, you only need to hide the cast off tail. This is the final result. Tell me, have you seen these socks before? That's all for today. Have a nice day and see you in my next video.